And I see her, but she in civilian clothes. Yes! Yes! I see her. She had on like, I think she had on spandex. Look at that. Ooh, wee. What? You see that booty? So I'm like, bro, oh my God! From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Ready to get, get, get to know a uh, real life military man? Drill sergeant, Major Payne. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, baby. We're going to go ahead and bring him in, man. We're going to bring in the man himself, the man of the hour. Let's get it, man. Mr. Plug in the building, man. going to run some cheers for my boy. <laughs> what time for that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clone in the building was good, man. So, uh, yeah. So, I want to provide a little brief... Uh, brief background man you know uh, like i said uh just like dr tc i know i'm irl you know i've been knowing him for for years now since we were freshmen in college so me and him go way back both of our phds in engineering uh mechanical engineering to be exact my my emphasis is on sustainable energy his is on robotics but plug man plug i met on along my streaming journey man he's been uh, not only instrumental in uh uh supporting my channel man one of the biggest supporters i have probably the biggest supporter uh, him and Ed, but uh, you know, uh, in addition to that, man, the camaraderie that we, we that we formed, the bond that we established, man, is really uh, really been instrumental to keeping me focused as a streamer and keep me growing as a person and keeping me uh, motivated. So you know what I'm saying. So I just want to get that initial background. Um, hey, but plug, man, you know, you know, you know, I do my research, bro. You know, I do my research, and uh, so I want to know: is it true that every time you speak to a drill sergeant, you have to start off with uh, and you have to start off and end with drill sergeant, like? For example, Joe Sargent, you're choking me. I can't breathe no more. Joe Sargent. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is true. Okay, well, we we gonna conduct the rest of the interview as, 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 according to the uh, according to the standards that you know what I'm saying. So, Joe Sargent, plug. Can you please introduce yourself? <laughs> you know I gotta bring the jokes to it. Joe Sargent, can you please introduce yourself? Provide your name, uh, place of birth, uh, marital status, and current occupation, and how long you've been in the military. Yeah, Joe Sargent, um, thank you. Joe Sargent. <laughs> <laughs> I just got on shift to that's funny. Um, so, um, if I want to say first off, man, I appreciate you bringing me on, man. Oh, you already know. Man, shout Pleasure. out to, I didn't know you was a doctor as well, man. So, you know, congratulations to you, man, whenever you solidify that doctor term. But, you know, I mean, I, I don't think a lot of people realize how important that is. So I want to definitely shed some light on that. Um, but for me personally, my real name. Appreciate that, man. Oh, he was talking to you, uh, Doctor TC. Oh yeah, appreciate um, it, man. Yeah, yeah, appreciate I don't know. Yeah, he know, he know, he yeah, he, no he, he attended my graduation, so he, he knew I was. Okay. okay. <laughs> both, uh, both of us are. Both know, of us are exactly right. Long journey, both of us took that same long journey. You know what I mean? I think you graduated the year after me. Yeah. I think you started mechanical the year after I did. Yes, sir. We switched over, so yeah, it's been the same long journey together, man. Appreciate it, though, definitely. Hell yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate y'all as well. Yes, sir. Um, but my real name is uh, Marquise. Uh, last name Foster. So, you know, I, I, um, I mean, I, I, most people probably thought it was like a secret or some shit. Like, I didn't want to say my name, but like, <laughs> I, I ain't, I'm not no, I'm not no fed, no criminal. So, I, you know who I am. It is what it is. Right. Um, um, I'm, I am currently married. Been married nine years. Hey. Uh, we messed up, man. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Uh, we met in the military at our first duty station, and I'm currently a drill sergeant. I've uh, been a drill sergeant for a little over a year now, and I'm originally from New the Bronx, New York. Hey, BX. Yep. Talk and, to him. Uh, that's in the city, of course. I mean, if you know New York, you know. I want to shout out to my wife. Please, I was going, bro. I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, impose, but man, I, I thought it'd be dope if you could uh, get your wife out there too, make an appearance. But go ahead, my yeah, fault. So, go ahead. Um, she's, she's, I mean, you know, we always working. So I left work, she dropped know. the kids off with me and then I, I came home and she went to work. So she's at work know. right now, but, um, shout out to my wife. Yep. Um, that's, that's, that's a tough woman to deal with, um, <laughs> but she, but she, she, she means well, she's real family orientated. She's mm -hmm. a hard working woman. I don't think she would make it this far if she ain't have her own drive. Facts. Um, and you know, and family that backed her up and supported her, um, so I, I, I'm super proud of her, and I want to. That's dope. If y'all don't mind, share how I met her. 
Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, yep. absolutely. Please. So, um, <clears throat> young me coming out of basic training, um, I, we both, we met at Texas. That's at what, what used to be called Fort Hood. Now it's called Fort Cabossos. Okay. Um, uh, with all the stuff that happened, they had to change the name and, you know, give it a new image. Um, so when I graduated basic, I did basic in, in Missouri, in Fort Leonard. So I remember I talked to you, I was at school there. So yep. wherever you do, your, wherever you do school for your, to learn your job, you have to go back there for your, for your, for the levels of promotion to learn your job at higher levels. You go back to that same place. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's why you went to Missouri. Okay. You know, I went back there that when I went back there, I was there, you know, for my my pay grade to learn, you know, that part of my job at the, you know, higher level. All right. So um, when I graduated basic training, I did basic training and my job training in the same place. Some people like they come here, the trainees will come here for basic and then they go to the AIT where they learn their job at a different location. OK, I did everything in one spot. My wife went to came here for basic training and then she went to. Virginia for one she had she has two jobs when you so say here you're speaking uh, South Carolina right yep South Carolina okay, yeah okay, Fort Jackson okay so my wife came here for basic she went to Fort Lee in Virginia for okay. her first AIT when she graduated there she went to Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio Texas okay for her second job and she's a uh, she's a nutritionist in the army yeah sorry um so when when she graduated from Texas and I graduated from Missouri we both got, we didn't know each other at all. Can of paint, nothing. We didn't know each other. We both just happened to be stationed, our first duty station at Texas. We met at, in processing. So everybody that goes to a duty station, you go to a, you go through an in processing phase. So they get you acclimated, acclimated to the, to, to the tech, to the location, the post, the, you know, they show you around the places, the resources, where you're going to be at, all that stuff. Okay. So I met her there. So we was in this class. And it's a called a resiliency class. They teach, they give that to everybody that comes in, so they can learn how to be resilient in the location and build, you know, a little foundation of resiliency. So just a check the block, really. Right. And so I'm in class with her. I happen to be sitting next to her. And when you graduate, when you go to basic for that long, and when you graduate basic, you can sleep anywhere. You learn how to sleep <laughs> standing up, all that shit. You be tired all the time. Oh man. We had a epilepsy, boy. Break. Fall asleep. Yeah. Standing up. We had a 15, 15 minute break. 15 minutes of sleep, I'm telling you, is a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> so while we was on the break, they gave us a break. I, you know, I seen her sitting next to me. I was like, hey, can you, uh, I'm going to take a quick little nap. We got a break. I'm going to just wake me up when they start. So she looked at me. She's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> so I, 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 I tried to take a nap. I don't think I actually did. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, you know, that was it. So I left. We left that class. And then we was living in the barracks at the time. So I went to the gas station, got me some cereal, you know, some regular peanut butter and jelly shit. So I'm going up to my room. Yeah. So where the room was, it was upstairs and it was a balcony area. And then your rooms are like, you know, off the balcony, you know, so they were kind of set up like that. Right. So when I'm walking up, I get to the top of stairs, I turn to go to my room. I looked over the balcony. Sometimes I just look over, see who's outside, you know, see if I right. see anybody. I went to base away because we was a bunch of us there. And I see her, but she in civilian clothes. <laughs> She had on like I think she had on spandex. Look at that! Ooh, wee! What? You see that booty? Like uh -oh. tight, like she about to go to the gym. So I'm like, hold on now, I'm about to go to the gym too. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on now, nah, nah, nah. that's what not was who that? I was just next to today. <laughs> I know that name. I was like, nah. Damn, what? The? I was like, yo. <laughs> at the time, <laughs> at the time, you know, her maiden name was Alcala. Hmm. So I was like, yo, Alcala. I just happened to remember. I didn't even like at that minute when I was looking, her name popped in my head. I didn't talk to her, but that one time that I asked her to wake me up, I sure. still remember the name. So I'm looking up. She she looked up. She's like, yeah, she ain't know who the fuck I was. Right. Uh, I'm looking. I was like, yo, you. It looked like she going to the gym, so I just shot it like that. I'm like, yo, you going to the gym? She was like, yeah. You want to go? I was like, shit. I guess I'm going to the gym now. The room. Let me put my stuff in the room. So I wait and grabbed everything, put it in the room. That boy ain't eat breakfast, breakfast, boy. I put my shorts on real quick. Got my shirt, my hooping shirt, and I'm like, shit, I'm going to the gym. So I went down there. Be out of there. Right. Hey, I was over there. So I was like, hey, hold on, wait for me. Wait, 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 I'm coming. So I went changed, went downstairs. So, you know, at the time we were both, you know, we ain't had no, you know, we walked to the gym. So the gym right. on post. So we while we walking and talking, 
I don't know. I caught the vibe that she wasn't interested at all. She really just wanted somebody to go to the gym with her. You know what right. I mean? She wasn't looking at me like that. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to just go to the gym. So I got to the gym. I wound up, she went and worked out, and I went and hooped until she was finished. Mm-hmm. On a, and on a, she was like, you, you know, when she was done, I was like, she like, you, you, you going to finish your game? I said, like, yeah, after this game, we can head out. She was like, all right, cool. So she waited. And then when we walking back, I'm like, damn, I got to find a way to shoot my shot. Right. You know what I mean? So I was like, she, so she had said, I'm, she was like, man, I'm fucking starving now. I was like, hmm. So I was I like, got Whoa. this cereal and this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. So I thought on my toes real quick. I'm like, well, I got the pizza number. You know what I mean? I could order some pizza. You shoot me like $3 and I'll, I'll pay for the rest, whatever you want. Right. Both, you know, that was back when they did that 555 five, five deal. Okay. So, so I was like, Domino's hey, we can get type. The, Domino special, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Just give me $3, I'll pay for the rest. You know what I mean? So she was like, yeah, that's fine. So I was like, no, yeah. So I was like, give me your number. You know, when the pizza's ready, I'll call you, let you know it's down there, and then, you know, we'll get the pizza. She was like, all right, cool. So I, I got a number. Hey, Steph Curry, Curry with the okay. shot, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we get back. I called the call for her to get the pizza. She went, you know, changed. I went and changed. And then the pizza get here, so I call him like, "Hey, the pizza's here. Meet me downstairs." And she like, because we were in a little, we was all in the same building, but she was on the other side. Right. So she came down, and it was like a little common area right at the bottom of the stairs. And um, the pizza, they delivered the pizza. I gave her her box the pizza. She gave me like, she gave me three dollars. I gave. Her. I was like, "Hey, nah, you good? It's all good." So I'm thinking, all right, we got the pizza now. I'm thinking we're gonna go to the common area, sit down, eat pizza, and talk. Yeah. So she grabbed her box. She's like, "All right, thanks, bye." <laughs> I'm like, damn. She, hey, <laughs> hey, point a, hey, point a middle finger together real quick. I'm, you talking I'm, to deuces. Hey. I'm like, damn. So she out of there. So I'm like, out of there. Like, I'm like, I gotta take that L on the chin. Right. So I, I think I messaged her the next day and I asked her because in the morning we do physical fitness. Right. So I was asking her one day. I was like, just to kind of strike a conversation. I was, I texted. Her, I was like, hey, um, you know, when do you like what are we doing in the morning? You know. She ain't messing me back. So I'm like, fuck. All right, it's over with. Yeah. So then we ship. When we when they take us to our units from in processing, now we can actually go to our units. Right. We wind up getting on the same bus that took us take us around the installation to wherever what unit we supposed to go to. They drop us off. Look at God. So I was like, well, I got one last chance. So I was like, hey, <laughs> you know. So I they dropped me off first. So I was like, hey, you know, good luck to you at your new unit, man. Hope everything's good. You know, I mean, it, it, you know, if you ever, if you ever free, man, just hit me up. You know, you know, I'll, you know, see what's going on on the installation and stuff. She was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. You know, you, good luck to you too. So I text her later. I was like, yo, how you like your new unit? How's everything? She's like, I'm, already, I'm in Austin. It's like, damn, you already in Austin, Texas? She's like, yeah. I, my roommate said, I said it was a, um, I think they had like a rodeo or some shit in, the, in the tech in Austin. She's like, yeah, my roommate took me out here. Said it was not really. I was like, I'll just go. I was like, well, hit me up when you get back. Right. And she was like, all right, cool. So I'm thinking, she ain't, she ain't, ain't, ain't going to hit me up. Right. So she actually did message me back a couple hours later. And she texted me like, hey, I'm back. What you doing? So I'm like, oh, shit. Now I'm stunned. So a good thing it was a text message because if it was talking face to face, I'd have been. I'll go eat the chips. Bit, on, on base has a movie theater. Okay. So she was like, I was like, let's go to a movie. We catch a movie. She was like, all right. Which movie theater do you want to go to? They got an AMC out here? And I was like, uh, nah, they got a movie theater on post, you know, an installation we can go to. She was like, movie theater on post? Because that's not, like, the movie theaters on post is not, like, like a real AMC. They just right. do random showings, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so it was like, she was like, what the, she was like, some lame shit. Like, we trying to go on post? Like, let's go to the movie theater. Like, you know what I mean? So I was like... <laughs> Well, we can, but I ain't got no car to take you all the way off post and shit. You know, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on both these legs. You know what I mean? Right. So she's like, she's like, well, I got a car. I'll pick you up. So I'm like, confused. What the fuck going on around here? <laughs> right, like, yeah. all right. So she, she actually did pick. So we planned to go out to the movie the next day, and um, so we went to the movies, and then so we had a good time with the movies. I went with her back to San Antonio to where she went to school, and we went around San Antonio, and then. You know, we went on a river walk and like, so we was always hanging around, hanging out until a couple, I think like two months after I wound up deploying to Afghanistan. Okay. So when I went, you know, I did my time out there 
when I came back, as far as I knew, you know, she went with nobody else. She ain't had no baby with nobody else. She wasn't married to nobody else. Right. So as far as I knew, she was just, you know what I mean? Everything was still cool with us, you know what I mean? And right. she, um, when I got back, you know, that deployment life, she wound up getting pregnant a month after I got back. And then we got, so once we found out she got pregnant, then like three months before she gave birth, we got married. That's because in the military, yeah. the females gonna get money for their kids if they have a baby, but the males, they don't, unless you are legal, unless you can prove that you're the legal guardian of the child. Okay. And even if you prove you're the legal guardian of the child, if you're not married to the person that you had the child with, they don't recognize it as, they don't need see the need to give you money for anything. Okay, so, so more maternal weird. support than, than yeah, paternal exactly. support. It's a okay. weird process. And they don't give you time off. I'm like, hey, you just, if that's the case, then dudes can just have 10 kids with anybody. They shoot you, know, they they you like a donor. Tie yourself down to one person. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So we met, that was where we met, man. And I, we got married, we had our first son. And we literally been together since we were like, in processing our first duty That's station. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So right. it's it's way been back. together for 10, 11 years now. I've been married for nine. That's so what's up, bro. You know, it, it, it just worked out. It's a typical story of like two new, two young soldiers got married, mm -hmm. had kids, and they probably get divorced later. Like, we had right. our rough times, of course, but. Right. Like, we still here. Yeah, that's and dope, man. That's they say they've been able to stick it out that long. All right, beautiful matrimony right there, man. I'm glad you shared that. I wanted to ask you, brother. You know, I don't want to pry too much in your personal life, but that's dope, man. No, that's fine. Heck yeah, man. That's, that's fire, bro. I'm glad you shared that. I'm glad you shared that. Next time we're going to have had the missus on, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. You yeah, know, she, 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 she talk her shit, though. So, yeah. She oh, yeah, she funny, rough, man. Yeah, she funny, man. Right. Yeah, she funny, bro. Right. She funny, bro. Yeah, but yeah, man. But good, good, yeah, good. I, talk. I want to appreciate y'all for having me on, man. Y'all been that was some good ass questions. I appreciate know, so. it, bro. Hey, yeah. man, appreciate you, man. Appreciate yeah. you. Know, you know, you, P. Bro. Yes, sir. You yes, know, sir. And I appreciate man. you as well, man. Yes, I mean, if you you hang around P, you got to be stand up. So, facts. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's, appreciate that's the circles you, we run in, man. So absolutely. Yeah. Yes, uh, stand up, dude. So hopefully we can do it again, man. Yeah, we got to, I man. Major pain. Major plug yeah. again. Man. Go. Check out the YouTube. Consider being a YouTube member because I'm going to be dropping the full episode, but it's only going to be accessible to YouTube members and those that are on the Patreon. So you can check in the video in the, in the description of the video. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, think about subscribing. Help your boy out, man. Show your boy some love. You appreciate the episodes and stuff like that. Also, hit us up on the email, engineers to the streets at gmail.com with all your comments. And we'll definitely uh, address those in the next episode. I'll be happy to, man. All your critiques, things that you agree with, things that you disagree with. Yeah, so. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold. We're about to freeze, but we're forward to Boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.